right, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach Grassy after tonight's win. Yeah, it was a fantastic performance from the guys. I think they stuck with the game plan. Uh, I think, you know, Kentucky probably had the best turnaround in the nation. So they've been very strong the last eight, nine games. But we stuck to the game plan. They, they, they pressed pretty hard, but we ended up finding the free man. So I think from the middle of the first half, I think we kind of everything started to, to go away. And you get the feeling that it was just a matter of time before we broke them and, and got a chance, uh, which we did. But, you know, this is one of those occasions where you don't get to do this very often in life. You don't get to have a redo of a, of a mistake, to have a do-over, to learn from your mistakes and then come good again. So we, we've done that tonight with Kentucky and, and now we get to do it with WVU fantastically. We'll open it up to questions for Coach or Alvaro. I was going to ask how does this justify your transfer from Coastal when you look at the standings and they finished last and you put the goal tonight on, I don't know how far you ran. We, I don't know if you were tired or not at the end, but I said, is, it, is this hockey or soccer? Because there's a complete breakaway. You go in and just pick your spot and boom. How does it feel? I mean, being here in this team, it's just an amazing feeling. You know, since I came here, I feel like I was included in a big family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not only soccer, it's everything else, what involves being in this community. I love this team, I love the coaches, I, like, I love playing here. And it's an amazing feeling. Like, I think it's one of the best decisions I've made in my life. What'd you, say, sure. to I'm sorry. What'd you say to yourself when you saw all that green? Yeah. <laughs> like, holy moly. <laughs> it's like, that's a long way to run. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was the longest run of my life, honestly. How far, how far did you run, did you figure? No, I was no. thinking these went from here to here. I said, I, just kept, I ran and I kept yards. running and kept he running. He ran like 40 yards. <laughs> it wasn't that much. For me, it was like 100 yards. But <laughs> it's amazing, it wasn't that much. It's amazing to have that much space to, yeah. you know, to, to realize you, it's, it's you and the goalie pretty much if you just keep hoping it. I mean, I wish I had one chance like that every game. I mean, you just you just one more goal. We won. And you know, that's all that matters. Yeah, it was a great finish. And I think it's very rare. Like, he worked so hard on the press. To win that, it's very rare that the first pressure, the first man of pressure wins the ball. Usually, you, you create a, a knock on effect. So, five or six passes down the line, one of your teammates win it. So, but he ended up winning on the first one and then straight to goal, lovely finish, calm, cool, relaxed finish. It was great. Were you picking a spot on the way down or you just, just figure it out? That's right, that's right. You've got the keeper, he's, he's got to spend the whole box. I don't know if he comes out or what. And I noticed you just went right foot and left, right by him. Yeah, I mean, is the goal becomes yeah. small when you're that, when you have that much time. Uh -huh. I think when you have time with the ball is when the things get complicated. But yeah, like don't mess up. <laughs> yeah, but like it, it went in. You know, everyone was happy. We scored the first goal. Then two more came. So it was it was great, great feeling. What's the whole like, team. What's it like when your guys have the ball near the box and you can just tell they're thinking, all right, it just takes one pass. And they're going to have a, a legit shot at a goal. It's just a thing of beauty. Sometimes when they're, they kind of know. Yeah, I think it's, it's sometimes you know when we have those moments when when I think some of our guys maybe get frustrated with themselves a little bit. They're trying to do too a little bit too much and great. But then when we have our best moments, it's when we play as a team and we're just trusting each other and we're giving those passes freely. And you saw as the game developed, uh, continued, we we found more trust with each other and we were playing together more as a unit. So the ball was moving very quickly, and I think. That's sort of the joy to see is when it's a team, uh, when you get team patterns and, and the guys just seen it play, see play, see play, and and they can just create so much that way. The atmosphere is always great here, but uh, I think it's going to be at an eleven on uh, <laughs> on Saturday or Sunday at one. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we you know we had a lot of lot of fans you know travel up to WVU and and some of them didn't have the nicest time, and obviously none of, none of us had a good time there because of the result. But I think it's we owe it to them to, to put in a performance they can be proud of and, and maybe give them a little bit of uh, redemption as well. Good. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you very much.